Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh APRC eh, Cyber Warriors and the entire APRC Santa Lin Gurum Lin Buba Haba Haba Hanak Kena Kone Satur Aksa Santa Ti Ligi Burafet Minga Kamne APRC Deflenko Ak Anda Kayak Dal Minga Kamne Deflenko Ti Jamona Bin Toluni Mui TRRCB amna lo xamné nak non la ko esafal bu geey won euh amna itam ñom niñ ko bëggé won lo xamné nak li alhamdullilah la wax euh kuko yek ak kuko yegut ma yegal leen na leen euh tiarat bi réro na ci final bi ndaxté jël bu reey la tiarat bi daanu euh ndaxté té ki lañ ko daané moy cheikhou diallo cheikhou diallo daané na leen fi daané na leen jël bo xamné ñom foge wuñ ko xon ni te itam promis yu wut len ko xon ni itam cheikhou promis yu na len lo xamne ma bëgg rek gambien ci ñu bari ñu xamne li ite fail promis bo xamne def won lañ ko tiarat bi tax ñu def ko last batch euh bar ko def def ko last remax pour mu ñewon wara ñew toj kasse mu doon lo xamne ni lu bété la bété na len trop bété na len trop bété na len trop te wax na len na len li promis bo xamne wax na ñok cheikhou jall mu promis len ne suñu ñëwé dinañ leen dana leen defal niñ ko bëggé ci final bi bi alhamdullilah euh xam nga loya ak laya dia all equal laya moy loya manam laya ak loya suri hanté wuñ seen wax ci suri hanté wuñ angalé mo gut dé laya an loya so lolu bum leen bétta kon li man ma ngay ñaan APRC ne ak mbollem APRC supporta ci ni li ndam xamna be paré ndam xamna li tax mané ndam xamna euh ñom Issa Fall ku melni Issa Fall ak ñim hand ak mer nañ ku melni Issa Fall mer na ku melni Tiaman la min ci ce kok mom euh di motax sen be record ci yeb def na defer nako euh suma amé crédit bu doy rek dina ko tisare inshallah waye lima am ci crédit rekal na mënta sanni audio yi yeb muy mr diallo waxtanam bi ak ñom so mr diallo daf len xalamal daf ñu won pour won len né mo mo len wara xalamal xalamal dëkk bi yeb ñu xam né ñu bël ñu jëd ñu bayaya jami waye gis la kenn celebrate about cheikhou diallo because lañ dan wax yeb fen lo na len be paré xamna ndam ci sen ci ma paré yaaya jammi xamna ndam ci sen kaw because ñom xamul lén luñ mëna yëkëti tay luñ mëna yëkëti tumal po ma paré sen jammé tay lo xamné ni lolu mën nañ ci tek baran dax joxañ ko ci kawam euh buñ naago nak bum tax nak ñu naago waye nak bum tax it ñu yaaka ñun ndax té fi mëné xam nañ ndam be paré waye apart from now commission bi jeexna dana ñu defen suñu bop to di las to di las to di las mraj lolu mom buñ téré ko mako kenn buñ ko téré téré kenn inshallah té itam ñu préparer bu baax takayu nak ngëm bo pour wara mëna jëflante nak ak ñi nga xamné ño wara euh jakarlo ak election bi wara ñew inshallah té fa séne itam ñu bokk ci ñu xam ndam wala ñu bokk ci ñi xam ndam loolu nañ ko loolu bom nañ ko bayyi suñu tam ñun ñep ñu xamné euh lamb ju reey taxawna jo xamné ñun kenn waru ñu ci jitu kenn waru ñu ci hepp ci because of lenn la mo xaw moy ñi fuko nañ ne tiarat ci bi fasan wax ju ñaaw ju ne fasan nañ xene wax nañ ko ci ya jamme epac ngi nopi ñi xan ak dal deug la tumal dafa metti rawati nañu tumal ci nga bëgg rawati nañu tumal sa mbok rawati nañu tumal sa kilifa rawati nañu tumal sa njit tuma yo xamne su doon deug la sax ñu ne waaw way du deug kon lolu def nañ ko xagal nañ ko ñu ne 290 days 29 months kay la wax 29 months def nañ seen 
rapport sen 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 tiarar sebi ñu doon ab groupe bo xamné ñepp kenn ku nek xanawam su doon sogom tay bama président jamé ñak bakanam ñom ñepp sen xarxanam yi li ci fess ak li ci fé ñaar moy kenn ku ne li nekkon ci xarxanam moy bama président jamé bakanam deug ñu ko dégg tay wala ñu doon sen sago tay ñu ngi gis bakani ya jamé mu ngi ci kasso bo xamné euh bamou fa jamma ba paré air ministre nam déggatu ci parti EPRC to lool mo doon sen agenda Alhamdulillah di sante yalla bu baax di alhamdulillah diko santal bu baax ndax té affaire safar yeb na len wété wor né da séku jalla dafa ko promission gaay né su ñëwé na dëggal né yaaya da daan def safar yi daf len promission né kamilé alquran yi fég la daf len promission né du julit bu ñëwé da daan wax na ma mo waxan daf len promission né su dé su ñëwé dina wax né daf dé té dé jankay té lool yeb wedi nako bëgg sëñ ñi moñ koy laaj ci affaire yi affaire Toufa affaire Toufa Ndiaye aw Touma naka la naka la Toufa bëgg sé Toufa Diallo bëgg sé ñi moñ koy laaj ci affaire Toufa lool la because suñ ko ci laaj da lañu wax ni billahi wallahi tallahi lool xam affaire Sakir Fassi sax bëggo nañ ko ci laaj way ñi moñ koy laaj ci affaire li li nga xamné mom ci la ba samaté daf ko waxon dafa waxon né pour mu Sakir Fassi da ben sakir fais ñaari lir yoy ñu waxon ci la bassama te fenalon tiarrc bi mo xamne kenn musut ko faay wax mom kenn do nga mo mosa cede cede bu bete xamul kenn ko ñaara kon koku wet na ci xamul ci wetal moy commissionnaire ka say say bi nga xamne xamul kam kam taxawon joswan fi ci independent moy commissionnaire ka ak ci kiñam bo seuk bo le ci kiñam na fi kam bo le muhammed mos mom 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 bima degge muy wo sant de geureum tambedu de geureum esa fall mané ki kay li tax mu bon kep ko xamne deg ngeen ko mu ngi geureum ba tambe do ko ko nit ko bon la nit ko bona 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 bon la ko ko nafeka la fa cheikh la kep koy geureum esa fal nafeka la fa cheikh la fa cheikh la esa fal ko bax duko geureum esa fal ko bon rek koy geureum kep ko xamne ni sa xol bi imanu billahi mu ci sa xol bi wallahi do geureum esa fal do geureum ba tambe do do geureum baba galla jallo ñet ñi ñoy ñet ñi gëna bon ci loyahi rew mi ñet ñi gëna bon ci juddu rew mi ñom la motax ma waxal nañ Issa Fall mom gisu gu dara te nak dekku neumbeur xam nga di Olof di wax ngeen jéggal ma nak wax ji Olof ko wax rek moko lew mu né giwel bu répé ci xaré num jëm kat ko lool mo dal Issa Fall nak gis na sax ci interpréter ñi melni euh Mr Mbay eh kama mbay kama cham ci ñom kama abdullah cham la kama abdullah mr mbay aladji mbay eh mu doon ci ci interpréter yi mu doon rep ma geg mu dem be bëgg ci duggal wax yo xamne nan ak affaire rehang ak yoyu so mu muhim ma lool ndax xam na na ñom eh fañ leen fa xo rek pour ñu ñew jotali manam giwel leen rek danaka ay giwel leen ñom ak giwel ci arar ci bi lañ mom ak ñom ak musa mané musa mané hit dem na be bëgg jël gatti loa bi manam dem na bëgg jël place sadio baro man nima gisé do xalina fan yi dafa melni ko xamné ni ko bëggona replace sadio baro ta jëmé wul dafa dessa ñëmé nak waye dañ neexon ci sadio baro yalla nako yalla yeneen dem ci yalla ci mom ak bambelam fi ne mo ci dess lam doon dëggé yalla nga koy fay mo xam lu bax la mo xam lu bon la yalla dafa xam kon mom sadio baro mo dé euh aladji musa mané dafa jël tank yi yima gis mu tank yima gis mu ci final tiarat bi mom la dal wowu la jëron pour né xolé ko bëti sadio borot wala du xayé taxé ba sadio borot mais taxna amna yenn yo xamna fi koy wax sax mu tontu bëgg koy tontu wax no do xewu non be jalla nako déret ni ma wax du nonu ni la waxé wax wala lool li la la wax so lolu yépp pour yakala xon wax yakala xon ak wax juba di lewon waye ma sante len rek gëreum len EPRC yépp wax len na len euh yalla mom lim wax rek moy inna allaha ma'a sabirin def ko neko suñu neko sang bu baax bu waxe xon nako neko yunante bu waxe xon sa tajiduni insha allah min as-sabirin kon nak ñunitam sa tajiduni insha allah min as-sabirin diko ñu waxe ñunitam ñu taxawé lolu rek ñu xamne muñ rek mo xam solo te lepp lepp luñ commencer rek yag yag rek mo xam lu baax la mo xam lu ñaala mo da nga dana jeex ma ngi degg imam sokol imam bo nga xamanteni imam bi nga xamne imam kenn gënu koy nek nafeq kenn gënu koy nek imam fashikh moy imam abdullahi jallo imam abdullahi jallo mom koku war nañ ko war nañ ko do xam xamne war nañ koy segg segg nak segg ko segal ko ba xamne 
ki war nañu xet ak ngëm yalla mu tollu wala war nañu xolaat ki ban façon lañ ko wara tuddé ci turi say say yu boni ci turi nafiqa yi nga xamné nafiqa yu magi ñu hutal ko turu bess moy euh imam abdullah jallo turu abdullah bi ñu dinné ko wala ñu top ko top ci ndi jallo gi def ko imam abdullah ubaida abdullah ubaida mi nga xamné nafiqa la won ci nafiqa yu magi nekkon medatul munawara bokkon ci ponkali nafiqa yi nga xamné euh ci ñu doon suuf yonenti bi la manam ci ñu doon coup d'etat yonenti bi ci nguuram ci bi medatul munawara su mané suuf suuf nguuram manam ci yonenti bi dem dan xoté mom bokkon na ci ñi mokkal alquran lol bokkon na ci ñi wané na mom ci la luñ ci gi di ñangale rek abdullah ibn ubaida bokkon na ci ñuko dan jëkk mokkal ci sahaba yi kon abdullah ibn ubaida bobu mom lay xolé abdullah ibn ja abdullah jall abdullah jall bi kon ñu soppi jallo ko tuddé ko abdullah ibn ubaida imam ci imam ci nak koku mom euh manam ndeysan euh ko must ko must dem amerique ko must dem amerique euh wala ko must ñew banjul buñ la yobbo washington wax deug yalla euh koku lu na lu ko nit lu ko lu ko lu ko nit di ñax rek ya toñ toñ ko dal lu ko nit wax rek toñ ko wa ko xamne ni mostaño ñef mostaño bañul nga yobbu ko washington su washington dc wax deug yalla koku manam dal bo ne ko ya mana xolé hit wax deug yalla toñ nga sa bop man lool la wax imam ci mom lool la koy lool la koy ko xamne ni dal yow bañul mos la fay dem ñu yobbu la ba amerique ba washington yobbu la ba washington dc fi nga xamne ñoy wax ne fofu mo gëna rafé ci amerique wala ñu yobbu la ba white house wax deug yalla buñ ne la ya mana xolé ki la ko wax dafa gattaxel mom lolu mom la koy bakke ndax awu tu katab golo rek la won euh wax deug yalla nek fi ben deuk ñu koy banjakar ku deug turu banjakar rek nga xamne banjakar mom ak banjakar rek la wa banjakar ku fa deuk ak banjakar nga kon banjakar mom ak ak banjakar nga rek wa bori ko wul fi la deuk koku buñ ko indé ci ab tiala ci air condition yi dako wër muy wax na ñi nga xamne ñi fen ñi won deul ku l'état ci do ñi won pour dané ci nguur ya yamé a nguur ko xamna yalla sampu ko yalla wax lim wax ci nguur jangal ni ayaba ba ayaba jeex a wax deug yalla imam bu toge ba na ñoña ñi won bu wala fokat ci nguur ñoo ñu ñi ci ñak seen bakkan ñoo ñu fen shahid ak loya yi nga xamna ñoo doon bind ay la sari fen yo xamna diko yonne mu ñoo ñu suñu deewal suñu ay suhadaa ulen mané kon koku xamul luy suhadaa ko ko warna jangati bu warna dem ñu dalal lay hat ko ba ki ba ci niko peul de jangé ba ci ñi jëm mim picco alif lam mim mim alif lam ra hatongu mim nun picco alif yeyu de nun picco fokna non la ko jëppal de jangé so war nañ koy délo jaha ci daara ji kon mu jangé hat mu dalé hat ci ba ci ñi jëm mim picco alif lam ra hatongu mim alif yeyu de nun picco alif lam ra hatongu ya mim picco war nañ koy yobbu hat mu jangé hat lola lo kon lolu koku mom a kam kamam bi dal fum ko tibbe jaxal na ma lol imam ci imam imam ci madilu ha ci imam jallo imam jallo wax deug yalla imam jallo ku ko to imam jallo mom wax deug yalla mom ak nafi kam dafa fess ndax te imam bo deug te muy 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 pougari ho nan religious di dey ñoko fa ñom la fa tewalon di dey tewal fa ke nit di dey ndax ñuko hop kam kam fuuf ñu ci rew mi ñuko gëna ragal yalla fuuf ñu ci rew mi ndax place bu bu mu togon ker den tok waram na place biñ commencé rek waram na xamné ñi buntu bi buntu na fekk la te mom mom imam imam jallo mo le bokko ci muslim eldas wala bok bu ci bokku don dem waxtu wu yaaya jamme dan joxe xalal ci tebeski wala korité dak dan dem mu luy posso mi ben fe dé dem dundal ci dundal ja botam ta wax ci ay kërëm dëkk ja kon xalal jojé su dé nak wala na kon lam lek ci tiarat bi warna koy del del wax ko rew mi ndax xalal rew mi la kon imam jallo mo le bokko na ci ñu doon lek lek xalal rew mi su dé ya jamme xalal rew mi kon pasal pasalé kon mom bokko na ci ñu ko doon lek su ñu bayé ko ñu ñew ci échafal muy nga xamne koku moy non bi nga xamne moy non bu mag bi non bu mag bi nga xamne moy non bi gëna reey ci yaaya jamme tay su reene tay dom adama non bi gëna reey moy iblis muy shaytan kon tay esafal moy shaytan ci yaaya jamme esafal don shaytan ci yaaya jamme ndax dom adama non bi gëna reey ci mom moy iblis te iblis euh bokkon ci ñi nga xamne dom adama ki yalla bind dom adama tax ndax ki yalla bind yonent yalla muhammad tax kon ki yalla bind dom adama motax kon ki bu lo gisé yalla bind iblis 
unité à la Mohamed Motah, qui est la bête d'Iblis, Adam Atah, Dom Adam Atah, qui est Iblis Moma, qui est la bête d'Iblis, 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 pour que je puisse vous dire ce que je veux dire. Et ça, c'est ce que je sais. Je ne sais pas si je suis venu à la maison. Et c'est ce que je veux dire. Et c'est ce que je veux dire. Je veux dire que 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 Jadi Allah berbisu bahana watahala. Nah, kamu fena fokus ni sampai fajar marik walau jaga. Barom kami kami viral nengnya. Pelas bawa berikla ibu sepuh jahan bisu jodoh tu barom barom bisu bahana watahala. Kon jaman ayah Allah bayar lagi ram kemota mui mana ya kata ni tu kugis. Kon esah falit apa bawa kon tinggal kami. Jaman orang jinga kami ya jam hingga orang jute binja orang. Kamu fena fum tahu dihani ya jam. Kamu fena fum tahu support ya jam. Mota degree luar luar ibu orang jinga kami teh. Mom la tok di nara na ay luwayo buwan lente luwayo yu mom esa fal bo konti Nyukodan binde kon mom esa fal dafo bo konti iblis Mom motak mo misale ko kom iblis ak dom adama ni mo yakke dom adama Ndakte mom tsipo mom bi mo yedi fel luwayo yu zbeke luwayo yu luwayo yu buwan la tinim ko wahe Bapare mo bo konti Nyukodan binde Mok baba gala jala mea khamna tayo moji te tiyarar sibi Nyom nyar te nyo ham daraja Nyo ham daraja ti walo Bindon modon te yu modon te hai te yu medal Ti iblis nyom nyar dama na kompi ana nyom nyar Nyo yu kachyo pala sat iblis bo Tak semua ni cuma ni kerja pelajar ilmu besar buat fikir exam lah. Kalau mana ni esah fal, mau modal force. Nah bapa galah jalan mem abn afir kalau boleh kerek. Ak meram dia kau menteri mom. Dah kau meram ya aja. Macam tu tu kerek lah. Waya teh esah fal. Mau non dia kau ni. Mau motor pun dia kau. Mau non dia kau ni. Mau hut linga kau ni. Dulu musa ham degit mom. Esah fal mau mau non bo bunuh. Mau non dia kau ni teh. Mau non misal teh iblis. Agia agdom Adam esafal moy iblis ya ya jam. Dah esafal, bokok nasi ni kan nanti. Mom, digi nasi cingguri, digi nasi cingguri ya jam. Bokok cai kujit, bokok cai komision. Cingguri ya jam. Kon esafal tu orang tu kerja tiara sibi ni tu. Ni wahai tiara sibi jarak tuan. Tajara lehun per esafal. Wah esafal orang nanya tu. Ni jarak leh kon fanya orang jepang lagi kon ning lagi ni. Cuba lu luar bikan muka bindu, way mutan nanti kumbah hamday, aku kumbah hamunday. Nira kamu nanti mana nanti lagi mulaian, nira kamu nanti mahu nanti lagi mulaian, nira kamu nanti mana nanti sah, nira kamu nanti lagi mobilean, nira kamu nanti mana nanti sah, kamu sah galen, nira kamu nanti mahu nanti sah, kamu jodohan kira mulaian. Lulu mum ber nanyu, tetem ler nanyu, negis nanti esah fal, mum tesufe kon neman lima dan dua mui, esah fal, enam ho. Former Minister, Minister former former International Criminal Court, the former Minister, former 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 ICC prosecutor, my army Ben Suda, my Fatu Ben Suda, Fatu Bomb Ben Suda, we are now in the Auditorium Commission B. We are like to come in, come in, like the lamin debate. Today, mom, as a fall, we are one. But I hear that the prosecutor, Alma Momane, but I hear that the prosecutor, Tumbultamba, Ag Musa Jamin, con as a fall, yeah, yeah, Jamin, you prosecute. Luar Ireland, nyom nyom proses kita luar Ireland, nyom nyom tabara sambahin, nyom 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 luar Malaysia, nyom 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 mom esah fal mensur dengan kamu tak bunyai mensur isan apa yang mui ciaman lah mensur sejak nafya kaya ambil mui mensur mui mensur bapu bawah bi bapu kamu bapu bawah tak mohon nara dengan bapu bawah tu tahu tu tahu beram nafik kelifa kelifa ni uci kawar gua bawah kelifa ni uci kawar gua nyul kuat kalau gua bawah kalau gua nyul kelifa nak mak at kelifa tu benda mak dan ada mak ni dan ada mak lol beri cai cai lol dosa cai lol mak Kalau ni dengan ada guna lol kawar genyul kuk mubah lol gen mak gen mak mau kawar gawe asal. Lul nak modal es lamin sisi lamin sisi. Dunia wah juga di muka lamin sisi juga ketika dunia wah ne mana nanggam nanggam nanggam. Dah teh bin kolaj je. Wajib dan 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 dah naya aja mereka milo al Quran bin hamilun fikir. Nyata domi gambar teh len gemlu hon lul kiri umi. Seku jalan dengan dengan wakul hendak. Mota, kita di Facebook bi, UDP kunya wan nyom nyom kan nyom dia number one enemy of jamme. Kunya wan citi ada sebut testify rek kita nukalan UDP dah tata galai, dah kau jadi wah wah kita nanti nasi kujal dia betai. 
gis ma ben youtube bi bind ci mom dako tax dako jaarama dako jaaj bi ko xam nañ bëggon xamul ko ci ñom tay dafa surprise esafal man dama leen ko xam dafa surprise esafal lam promotion esafal ak lam wax esafal is completely different lam wax ci tiara ci bi tay dem ba tay ak lam promotion esafal is completely different gis nga kayn bop mu wax ne esafal wax ne ya jami moko sayne waxu deug ya jami sayne ko dafa fenn esafal waxu ben deug tay mu ne tay bi waji waxe nak euh jaaway ci lying esafal mu ne he is not a na rafetal kadde mu wax ne he is lying esafal ñaata dit la mu wax ne you are lying ñaata dit la esafal lay do fi ci tiarax ci bi ñaata baye jamm so lolu kon wane na esafal ak commission bi ak tiarax ci bi ñep lañ tego xon man lima mëna wax rek ak lima gis rek moy deug joojutu la xam ngeen deug joojutu lan la deug joojutu moy fen wata xaw deug bu juuto rek fen taxaw so kon li la ñom commission bi ma nga sakku ci presse bi mu xamne deug juñ juutal la te ñom esafa len deug juñ juutal len def kon li mëne rek ma wax ne epac ka ci ngalama ca kaw ca kanam xam ngeen ndam xam ngeen ndam ci rewmi ndax te manon ngeena jog fipp te defu len ko kon lolu man ma ngeen ci jaajeufal bu baax euh li prof mo presse jamm waxon rek loi bi dal buñ ko jël te ko ci ndox ndax xam nañ ndam euh te itam ma nga waxtana sama oustaz bu batin la diko bo gisee tiara ci bi jeex ci aljuma ji ñi tambale wuñ ko aljuma waye ya jamm buñ ci lepp lum tambale aljuma rek ya la ko satal daf ci def ndam ya jamm ma jox wax sama oustaz mo xam li mané ko wa sant ya la oustaz motax biñ waxe ne ya jamm euh lepp lum lepp lum commencé aljuma lepp lum nan def aljuma la ko daan def te lepp lum commencé an aljuma rek ya la ko daan defal ndam te tiara ci bi jeexal ji jeexal ko ci aljuma ji ya la def nako ci defal ndam kon oustaz basiri itam ñu ngi la sante di la gëreem ma ngi sante itam imam sissé ñom itam diko sante diko gëreem bi sante onkul ngari diko sante diko gëreem bu baaxa 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 baax sante itam suma ben baax bi ko wax suma sëri nekk ci euh bak tabakoto mom itam ku baax la da nekk di defen lool nak euh euh mom itam euh president jamm ak tiarar ci bi da len da len da len contrôle bu baax da len monito da xam ñu ñepp xam nañ ne tiarar ci bi da fa limo yak ci rew mi mo ëpp limoy defal ci rew mi ndax commission la waye nak bu ngeen deglo ci final conclusion ci aman xam ngeen ne dem len ngeen seedi tiarar ci ak bi bu bu kenn soppi yeen ñi nekk ci epac ta janga dem len ngeen set ko ba xam ndax da ngeen fa gis fo xam ne da lañ fa wax ne da lañ fa wara dem ko tam dit justice de la femme dit du fa xam xamut fa man gisuma ko fa de bok yeen nak su ngeen ko gisee ngeen dimbal ñu ci waye man lima gis moy gisuma ci fenn fo xam ne wala neen ne fi justice nangam 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 de dit te itam lima ci janga rek moy ne this thing chairman la men ci sa wax na ba pare euh mom mi nga xamne moy ciaman xam ngeen esa fall mom staff rek la waye he is not he is not part of the commissioners mom bokk ci commissioners is staff la esa fall bokk ci commission mom xaar len ko fay rek muy wax lu ko neex de xamadi waye commissioners i think they are all they are all 11 commissioners yeb 11 nañ fu kinte ak ben nañ commissioner kinte andale soce commissioner samba euh la men sisi ak say say yu amna ci imam jallo say say imam si say say imam jallo ñoñ dal ñoñ 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 ñu ñoñ ñu bu len koy wax sa imam dia all so call so call imam dia all so call imam imam bu mëna tok ci plateforme ñun ñaar fukki wër ak juroom ñent nga tok ñuy sos lo xamne ay fenn la ci sa kanam de touma lo xamne ci ay fenn la ci sa kanam ngeen jël am kamil alquran bop mbubbo ko ak bishop bishop bop nefa muy pasteur bop nefa de bishop bishop xam diko adiko ñom ñepp kenn ragal yalla ima diko mo le xam ñaar ñaar chrétien fait mu ngi jëlé halal ci yaaya jamm halal bi ci yalla man dama koy fatti sax way mu ci say say ci la bok wala ta tawata ci benn kanam chrétien da ko wat chrétien ci yeb war ngeena xamné imam adiko mi bishop diko mi koko du bishop bu baax du imam du bishop bu baax du bishop bu baax bokku ci waaw na ngeen ko genné ci biti li la nehon may dina def sama conclusion ci lena rek ci li nga xamné dina ko jukki may tam ci sama analysis ci tiarar ci bi gis na le len taxo na jox moy yengal dekk bi euh yaqa dekk bi waye alhamdullilah euh ñu gis sant ñep di gëreem ñep di len jaajeufal di len wax wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Julie Brouch on Kefado Life Amari Chan welcoming you to our weekly current affairs program this week very quickly we go over the menu After 871 days, the Truth, Reconciliation and Reparation Commission, TRRC, 
have now ended their public sessions. We will talk to the TRRC members to find out what has been discovered and what next for the Commission. The former ruling APRC is also busy flexing its muscles uh, for the December presidential elections with the start of uh, the Back to State House campaign. And we also will update ourselves with uh, whether or not the party is talking to any other group for a possible alliance. And we will also talk about the inter-party, that is the inter-party committee, the platform where all political parties in the Gambia converge to discuss matters. We will visit them to find out what has been their activities concerning the voters' registration. And talking about the voters' registration, the Independent Electoral Commission has started formally its election cycle uh, that will culminate, of course, into the December presidential elections as well as national assembly and local government elections in 2022 with uh, the voter registration exercise. This and others are in the menu this week in the branch. Now, let's go straight to the first item that is the ruling, the former ruling APRC, like I said, have been busy. Uh, on a campaign they call Back to State House. Whether you believe it or not, they believe that uh, in 2021 they will sweep the polls and go back uh, to regain the power they lost back in 2016. And, well, who else who best talk about those issues than Dulu Ja, Deputy Spokesman of the party. Dulu, welcome to the brunch once again. Thank you very much, Mr. Chab. Uh, like greetings to the viewership. Really happy to be back and thank you for having me once more on the branch. When you say back to State House, many people wonder whether you are daydreaming or is it a pipe dream. <laughs> are there any realistic hope that the APRC can go back to State House in this letter? I'm saying this uh, given, of course, uh, in every country and in every election, the party who loses, who lost power, always find it difficult to regroup and you know win immediately the election immediately after. What? Why do you hope? Why do you place your hopes? Which which planet do you place your hopes? <laughs> of course, on planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, um, it's really interesting. We've been working very hard. We did work very hard, and are still doing. And. Um, based on the strategies we put in place, that's what gives us the self-belief that come December 4th, 2021, APRC will be back to State House. Either we're going solo or we're going to do it jointly with other political parties. We are of the firm belief that we're going back to State House. It's not me talking. Uh, right now, that uh, agenda has been launched uh, by a week or two ago. What we're embarking on, we're at a period that is very crucial as far as elections are concerned, that is the voter registration. So we're sensitizing our people, like who is a Gambian, what documents do you require in order to register. We believe we have our people in their like numbers, but it's going to be very fruitless if you have a lot of people, they're not registered. Then if they don't have voter's card, they cannot vote for you, so their numbers are not going to count. So that's where we began, make sure that our people who are registered have all the required um, Gambian documents in order to acquire a voter's card. And secondly, we had a campaign to do fundraising. Mm -hmm. Fundraising, in a sense, politics is about money. Mm -hmm. You cannot have the strategies, the ideas, and the numbers. Without finance, you cannot execute. And this fundraising is very, very important. We do that through sale of tickets, membership contribution, organizing fundraising activities that are ahead of us. We're working to, towards that, and that will come to pass. And uh, thirdly, it's about our campaign strategy. We need to reach out to people, not only to our membership, especially the undecided voters. They want to be convinced, most of whom don't belong to any party, but they're waiting for what candidate are you putting for? What are your policies and programs? What do you have for Gambia? In order to convince them to give you your vote. So based on this, this is why we said back to state house. This is not just a mere slogan, but definitely we have activities embedded in it that will definitely give us that drive to head to state house. 
Well, you know, one thing you, you can say that for APRC, and in, in, in immediately, in the period immediately after the uh, change of government, APRC was like a plague. Everybody was avoiding it. <laughs> now you have the uh, boldness to say that you will go to State House either by yourself or in uh, collaboration with one or two political parties. Meaning, of course, now you no longer, you now graduate from that plague status where when everybody was trying to avoid you. People are opening up to embrace you. What has changed? Because obviously, as far as we know, it, I mean, the APRC was the party that was here that everybody disagreed with in 2016. What, did, what makes you relevant now? Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Cham. That's very important. I would not say everybody, but a lot of people well, disagree. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, that is quite true. And like you said, some people saw it as a play, you know, a no-go go area for joining APRC. But thanks to the executive, through the leadership of the Right Honorable Fabak and Tongong Jata, when at such a time the former president, His Excellency uh, Jame, left this country, they were reaching out. First, they began with uh, ministers you know, people who were like uh, in parliament to see who will stay the affairs of the party. But I can say almost all of them excuse themselves. When they reached out to Fabakari Chombong, he said he has retired from politics. You know, they told him, we're looking for people to lead this party, but nobody's willing to take it on. It's not a matter of choice. You have to. It's like they impose leadership on him that all the efforts you people did, you cannot just sit back and allow the party to die. So that really hit him hard. He accepted that he will do his utmost. That's when APRC started having in-house meeting, indoors meeting, you know, putting up things together. The likes of the former mayor of KMC, Yanko Bakoli, played a crucial role. We even were doing all our meetings at his compound. He opened up and said, use this place. Whatever you need is at your disposal. You know, most of them came together and the first rally we organized in Buffer Zone, that was really the turning point for the party when the target was 50,000 people to attend that rally. I believe we exceeded that, that number and that was a lot of people. Oh, if they could have this type of crowd, we believe that this party would survive. That was the turning point. That's what motivated people. But still the challenge was there. After the rally, can we still keep up to that? We said yes. We went to Kotu Kware again. You know, the numbers were there. We went to Birkama, the numbers were there. At Abuko, the numbers were there. We organized that peaceful demonstration at Sukuta Jaban traffic light. The numbers were amazing. You know, even people who left the party started coming back. The youth rally we did at Jaban, people believe we have the numbers. But numbers alone, like I mentioned earlier, isn't enough. You need to do more than that. So your people must be documented so that they will be eligible voters. That is very important. Without the voters card, they cannot definitely put you in power. So we believe we have the numbers. Uh, it's not about self-confidence, but it's a reality. So we're trying to transform those numbers into something meaningful to catapult the party to be in state house in 2021. Okay, many people will believe, your critics will say, okay, the persistence and the hard work of uh, people like FTJ, you described, and others who really make sure the party really survive and regrow. Yes, their efforts should be commended. Mm -hmm. But don't you think you have to give gratitude, of course, to the prevailing freedom that exists after the change to enable opposition politicians, such as the people you are described, and parties such as yours, I mean, to engage freely in political activity, something that was denied of political parties, opposed to your party when you were in power. So you, you definitely have to be grateful for the change. Yeah, thank you very much. That we embrace, we appreciate, and we accept. When we found ourselves as opposition, the Right Honorable Fabakari Tombongyata made it very clear that the current government, Biden, it was a coalition government, we knew we made mistakes. Let them not repeat the same mistakes. So we know we're not infallible. We made some wrongs that we accepted. But was it the same people now who did it? No, of course it is different. And we said, when we were in government, the opposition, the way they operated, we are not going to repeat the same thing. That's when we said we are an opposition with a difference. And we have proven that, not for once. Has APRC ever broken any law in this country? Not for once have we ever created chaos in this country. We 
came in peace, the, the, we the, established ourselves peacefully. Despite, despite many provocations. Yes, <laughs> with all the process, you know, the pressures on, on us at Manka Mankuna, we were attacked, our people injured at Busumbala repeatedly, but we were very steadfast and said, hey, we contributed in building this Gambia. We're not going to be, you know, actors in creating chaos or destroying anything in the country. What the leadership was telling us, be patient. And our Supreme Party leader, of course, in all these audios that went viral, he's been imposing and emphasizing, even when people insult us, let's not respond to insult. Let's show discipline, let's respect the laws of the land. He has reiterated that over and over again. We have to thank him for that mindset. Even though he is a million miles away, he could have said, no, get to the streets, do this, do that. But he never encouraged for once for us to do anything that would be against the laws of the land. We also thank and pray for him that he has that mindset, wishing well for Gambia and encouraging us to be law abiding. So all this provocation for us, we knew, we took it as a trap. Like people wanted to lure us out in the streets. You know, when we do so, we violate or break the laws, we could be banned, we could be suspended. You know, our people can be apprehended and charged for wrongs or crimes committed, and that will not help the party. So, so in other words, you, you knew the survival tactics. Exactly. And you applied them. Exactly. Okay. You know, okay. Despite our vehicles, our accounts being seized and yeah. all that to okay. strangle us, we're still you surviving. Can you mention that? Because you said you are engaged in fundraising. Yes. And your, your funds are still seized by the state. Yes. Is that quite right? Or yeah. they have now released some of them? No. Not yet. Nothing has been released yet. Nothing has been released? N not yet. Alright, let's come to this point. Um, you know, a lot of people, or generally, are now having this perception mm -hmm. that there is a lot of rapprochement uh, between the APRC and the NPP of President Barrow. Mm -hmm. In fact, President Barrow's critics have started accusing him of trying to leave the APRC. That is why he's not taking reforms that really would have discredited or would have uh, sidelined the APRC uh, or under them because he is really, really hopeful that he will get the support of the APRC. Well, initially when the report suggested that there is a talk between the APRC and the NPP, your officials denied saying it was premature at the time, nothing tangible was working. Mm -hmm. But now you people have come up to say, indeed you are talking to different political groups, yes. including NPP, except perhaps UDP. Mm -hmm. but is it not realistically true, almost certainly, that you are going to ally with the NP and not anybody, and not, and not anybody different? Um, I wouldn't say only NPP. Uh, what led to all this? It started in 2017. By then, there was no NPP. I'll have to freshen up minds. And uh, the former president, our Supreme Party leader, His Excellency yeah, Jamie, gave the blessings for us to engage government. Uh, he's been in government, he knows about diplomacy, a lot of issues how things function, he gave his blessings. 2018 Congress we had in Buyan, a Congress resolution was passed and part of those resolutions was to engage government and stakeholders for the safe return of our Supreme Party leader. Part of those resolutions, again, the party delegates said we must engage government so that our vehicles that were seized from us need to be given back our party accounts, you know, the properties of the former president. You know, for us, we believe some of it was illegally sold or seized, mm -hmm. should also be pursued, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So the executive is not embarking on a self-centered desire mm -hmm. in order to engage the government of the day. Like I said, in 2018 too, there was no NPP. Mm -hmm. It's the president we were engaging. So people must not tie it to NPP now. It's a different ball game too when NPP came as a power. Because the desire then and now, it is different. By then, President Barrow never said, you people should you know, join me so that I will have a second term. Because there was no party. But did he say that now? Yeah, now. Now he said it? No, now. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. When he NPP said the NPP came. NPP should join him so that he can have a second term. That is what I'm saying. That is now. So but from... it started then. Yeah. People must not tie it to NPP. That's why I said by then, there was no NPP. Yeah. He's the head of state. Yeah. He's the one who's empowered by the 97 constitution. He has a lot of executive power. Certain things, if he says yes, is yes. If he says no, is no. So who else should we engage or negotiate with besides the president? So that wasn't illegal. And it was through a Congress resolution. Congress is the highest authority as far as our constitution is concerned. And like we said, nothing has been agreed. Nothing is given. Or even now. Even now. When that happens, we have nothing well, to hide, and it is not illegal. Pass your people in even the remotest association 
you know, or suggesting that there are there are movements towards that. But no, no, no. Now there have been tangible uh, movements we, we, in that direction. We never doubted the movements. Mm -hmm. Like what people said, well, we are negotiating <laughs> for a for a possible alliance. Yes. And that wasn't the case. And it was never at an executive level. Now mm -hmm. it is at an executive, executive level. level. By then they approach people, they feel through them, they will be able to penetrate the APRC. Okay. That's what led to it. But whatever doesn't come from the national executive, yes. it's not something tied to the party. Individuals have every right to engage and discuss. Okay. This, this we never doubted. Okay. Yes. Now, um, we have seen former top guns, typically we thought are still APRC, then the presence of former National Assembly members and governors, you know, publicly declaring their support for NPP. And they're supposed to be APRC. Until now, we thought they were APRC. We haven't had APRC condemning them. So we, we believe that okay, these are just having us. These are the people who are, the, 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 in other words, let me say, the Afghan party. But it, it, it suggests to everybody watching that, I mean, these people are really actually working on becoming one. Yes, thank you. It's very important that you raise such an issue. And like you said, the APRC never made any comments to us that yes. it's good that you asked the question. Because all of these people that went, none of them has ever claimed to be APRC when this after national, the, after, after the, the impasse. None of them claimed. None of them could tell you this was the position I held at APRC. Even, even in our activities, you don't see them around us. They were former MPs, yes. yes. Some of them even during the days of Jammeh, yeah. they left uh, or they lost the positions that they had. Yeah. Publicly, they were not seen or known to be having any position within the party. Everybody could be a sympathizer or claim to be a member. You cannot restrict that. But for us, we don't have a problem when people leave one party and go to another. It's nothing new. And it's not going to end here. This will continue. Incumbency has a lot of influence. People must not undermine that. And the longer it stays, more people it is going to uh, motivate to join. People can take this to record. I'll just give you a short synopsis. Like when APRC came into 96, people still doubted and they kept challenging. In 2001, it continued. In 2006 and 2011, that was the period like the whole Gambia was at APRC. Take this, you can do your further research. Yeah, yes. Based on the power of incumbency. But after 2010-11, from 12-13, that's when things started turning yeah. around. So that's, that's when social media so, so played a crucial role and, and, in and, trying to turn things they, around. And, and they overstand their welcome. Yes, that's when it started. From 14-15, it was very tense. And 2016, the ball and game, was, the was, game was typically was, different. The was on the wall. Yes. Good. So That's give it a period, people will be motivated to embrace incumbency. It's powerful. You don't undermine it. Okay, now, um, a lot of people said, what is the new attraction that Barrow has to offer to the APRC when, one, mm -hmm. your accounts remain frozen, mm -hmm. your vehicles remain seized, according to you, uh, how to call it, and more importantly, he has nothing to offer. As far as President Jeffrey's uh, flight is concerned, for example, you are talking about having him return as a respected former head of state. That is not the language we are hearing, at least publicly. We don't know what you are discussing privately, <laughs> but publicly, that's the language President Barrow cannot talk about. So many times when his language is being interpreted, so get something like that, they will come with a denial. Uh, that no one ever said that. For example, as recent as the visit. Uh, conducted uh, by Sam Sar, who is believed to be APRC, even though he said he's not <laughs> a member of APRC. Just sometimes his comments coincide with their thinking. I mean, Sar, even though he corrected that, he suggested that the president would warm up to the idea of bringing back Jamme, etc., etc., even though he's later commented that such things came from him. I mean, the government. I mean, officials came in a denial, and the president never says such a thing. Right, so now, what is the attraction now? Uh, Mr. Barrow is given to the APIC in terms of these three things. Your assets are seized, your accounts are still uh, frozen, and he cannot guarantee, publicly at least, that he will, uh, I mean, facilitate Jamie's return. Well, like I mentioned earlier, negotiations are ongoing and nothing concrete yet. Nothing is giving, nothing is promised. We're negotiating. And as a party, like I said, Congress passed those resolutions. So it is an obligation 
upon the National Executive Committee to explore that. Whether they will be successful or not, that's a different Let question people need to ask. Are you, is your eventual um, union, or whatever you call it, alliance mm -hmm. or solidarity or whatever you, with him or him, the MDP, will it depend on these things I have outlined? Uh, I mean, Jamme coming, your assets being defrozen, etc. Is it, that part of the conditions? It is part of it and it is key. Whether it will be now, cheap if, or if not. Cannot, cannot guarantee that. What will happen? You will not, you will not work with MDS. No, the executive will have to make a dec decision. That is not for me to say this or that. Like what we're weighing, we're saying what would be the country's interest and the party's interest. These two, we're not throwing it overboard. It is key in any negotiations we do, either with the president or NPP or any other party. Gambia is our priority. The party's interest too should be protected. But it will be different when it comes to negotiating with political parties. You will have to weigh them, their capabilities, you know, what they are in charge of and what they are not. When you say that, many people believe that the UDP is seen to be the strongest. Well, they will say, if you say party, they will mm. say, okay, let's say, let's categorize opposition party. Yeah. Yet you are not talking to them. And you, if you say you are weighing, you are looking at the impacts and the weight of the parties. You, yes. you, you are weighing the UDP as a threat. I'm their pick. Let me qualify this. All the parties that are, we're talking with or negotiating, APRC has never approached any of them. Oh, they're, the ones they're the ones coming to us. So and we've said it, our doors are not closed. So even if UDP, uh, uh, um, lawyer Davo or some, somebody come to the APRC and say, Tomo, you know what, I want your party to support me. I have a deal for Carol, eh, for, for President Jambe, ex-President Jambe, if that's what you are afraid, we are no longer considering him as, uh, uh, you know, as somebody we don't want to deal with. You will, you will talk to them? Yes, we said our doors are open to all political parties that are registered in this country. And again, it is Honorable Lawyer Dabo that make it publicly known that the UDP government and the Dabo presidency will prosecute President Jame and Co. That will not be a welcoming news to so, the so, APRC so, party and its so that alone, uh, is a problem. No, he said it. Based but, on what? So coming but, to APRC, they will raise those but issues. Mr. Barrow may not say it directly, but his ministers. As recent as uh, this year, Ahmad Bar said, if 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 President Bar and Jamie ever step here, he will he will face justice. And Mr. Ahmad Bar is very much President Barrow's right hand man now. You know, being the right hand man doesn't qualify him. Ahmad Bar does not have those powers. But he could be saying what he wants, what he wills. That is Ahmad Bar as a minister. But Barrow did not come to condemn or to disagree with him. Yes, because what he so what, what, what he considers is not to what made you believe he's not talking on behalf of Barrow? Because politics is about interest. Like the saying goes, there's no permanent enemy, there's no permanent friend, but permanent interest. Okay. Barrow knows what his interest would be. Ahmad Bab, as a minister, was hired. He could be fired and somebody else could replace him. Ah. He could be left there and reduced to a lesser role. Ah. It is for the leader so to, as to, to decide. As long it, as Barrow did not. Yes. If not, yes. categorically made it to you that I cannot offer this, yes. I cannot offer this, yes. you will still continue to talk. He has the powers as the leader. If somebody different from lawyer Usain Udabo said it at UDP, mm. we you would not have listen. considered it seriously. Ah. We said it's Mr. X or Mrs. Y, they're wishful thinking. But if the leader himself says that, then that is very worrying. Okay, very worrying. So, recently, there mm. have been some you know, comments from the grassroots or some members of the uh, APRC who have said, look, uh, leaders as FTJ, Fabakar, Tomo and others, I mean, she is a lady and... Our sign, yeah? Yeah, and there, there are other people abroad mm. yes. who also made the tambas and some made comments, tamba. comments such as that, mm. that the hierarchy, the top leaders of the leader of APRC are mortgaging the party to President Bao. <laughs> uh, and that, you spent mm -hmm. five years misleading the, you know, the grassroots supporters with the notion that Jamme will come back and probably even contest or take back his presidency when you know that that possibility is as remote as, 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 as almost impossible. Now you, with the election coming, you know that of course, you always know that Jamme's coming would be impossible before the elections. Mm -hmm. But you kept misleading the grassroots <laughs> and they kept believing that now you know that you must now hold the bull by the horns by telling them the truth that look, we have to go into this election without Jamme. And that's not going down well with them. So all this 
I mean, criticism are coming against you, I take it. No, the wrong we, let me clarify yeah. some of these claims or allegations. We never said that we are going into elections without Jamie. None of the executive members has ever mentioned that. So if, you agree with him? If, if any one of us did, they can prove me wrong. I never had any of the executives say that. that, that we, we are vote. going into the elections without Jamme. We are yet to so, say that. So now because you're still going with him? Still there is time. But, still there is time. You, you still don't believe that Jamme cannot come into this one? We cannot believe that. We cannot believe and conclude and say he's not coming. Like I said, it's politics. Anything could, could happen. So we're not closing doors. Okay? What we're saying is we're making it clear. What the law says, the electoral law says, is clear. And until we exhaust that, you cannot make any conclusive decision. Now, seeing that the grassroots so were, with, were a mess layer, So even with all this, uh, let's say, you know, what people would say, you know, mm -hmm. prospects of Jamme even facing court action, you know, somewhere, with all these allegations that have international proportions and international implications, all setting President Jammeh, you still believe that he can pack up from Malabo, jump on the plane and come to Banyo? That is our belief. People are entitled to their belief, whatever they think or what they want. That's why I say, until and unless... That is unless, your prayers, or that's you definitely can you believe this possible? It, it is our belief, it is possible. For us, nothing is impossible. Like I said, it's also politics. Like, let me take you back to misleading the grassroots. We never misled our grassroots. Uh -huh. Information that comes to us, we, the top brass of the executive, have been communicating to Jamme, and he's prepared. been telling them I about said, his coming. I said misled. Where did they get the idea that he was coming? They went to clear his farm, clear his compound. No, no. Where did they get the information no, that he was coming? No. How that, many false Jamme returns have been declaring, declaring. Where did what, they get that from? Okay, if you allow me, I'll be able okay, to okay. clarify that. Declaring yeah. Yeah. was not attached to his coming. They said the place is neglected. It was very bushy, and they have to clear the place. Okay. Maybe, maybe the people but we in have charge. Messages that he was coming as well. That that was not spearheaded by the executive. Did you see any executive member in but that declaring? But did you come to tell the public that look, clean the place if you wish, but Jamba is not coming. We never said that. But they, you never said it. We never said They that. said it, but you never corrected it. Where did they get the information from? Not from us. That's why I told you that but clearly. You, but you knew that was not correct. You didn't come to No. Them. There are family members living there in that compound. Oh, okay. yeah. They are family members, people who still reside there. They don't have the numbers for the cleaning. Okay. Maybe the mindset, what was told to other people. We had the same information that he's coming. That's why people were clearing. Nobody told us directly, and we never said it. That has to be clear. Okay. So but we true. also had the same thing that he's coming so people maybe it was to motivate people give them the zeal so that they can give a helping hand in clearing at times it could be a tactic i'm not saying exactly i said maybe that was the case if that came from the executive then we you would have seen us in the forefront when it comes to clearing because we cannot tell people go and we sit back we never did that anything we call to you will see us in the forefront anything organized or said by the executive we don't uh, uh, appear as backbenchers or behind the scene we take the lead that's why i said the executive never said that now when we say jam is coming it is our belief that he will come back to this country he himself have been saying it audios that before were released the before the election Yes, this we, we that's why I said with the little time that we're still hopeful that there could be a possibility of him coming. We're not ruling it out unless all avenues are exhausted. Then we'll say, okay, he cannot come before election because this, 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 this. But we have the belief he's a citizen and nothing can prevent him from coming back. Now, when he comes, he will go to the courts. That's not up to us. It's not for us to decide. That is for the government and for the stakeholders. They have every right to do so. We're not stopping them from doing, or if they want to prosecute, that's what they want to do, fine. But our belief is he has to come back, and we believe he will come back. Nobody can take that from us. Wait, you, you, again, I, I want, I'm happy on you, uh, you know, holding the bull by the horn and realizing mm -hmm. at the moment the near impossibility of such a situation, even from Mr. Barrow himself. Don't it occur to you that Mr. Barrow may, yes, in his own personal uh, interest, he may be interested to have him back or to give some sort of concession as far as Jamie is concerned to the APRC, but he's not capable of doing it. 
simply because one, he doesn't have the capacity, the control, <laughs> or he does not want to risk it. You, that doesn't look good to you. All this could be a possi possibility, but he's yet to give us any concrete decision or to tell us this is what I'm going to do. Negotiations are negotiations. Everybody has an interest to protect. And at some point, we must compromise. Both ends. If you want to reach an agreement, there is something you need to compromise in order to achieve what you want. Now, APRC is a hot cake. There is no party in this country who doesn't want APRC's backing. This is why now, we say we are the king. Where do you where do you place this hope? Because so many analysts have said that since the change, mm -hmm. the APRC has been reduced <laughs> to just just a, just a certain area. Even though you said, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know, your fifty thousand uh, rally and buffer zone and those that followed really have demonstrated that you are a party. But when we see national elections that happen after that, we still believe that uh, the FERC still don't have the numbers nationally to influence anything nationally. Yes, because of the strategy the coalition government they put in place by then. Yeah. Elections is about mobility. That's yeah. why they seize our vehicles. Election is about financing. So the they froze our account. Yes, that's what I, I said. See. They want to strangle us to die. I we see. could not put up candidates in many constituencies because yeah. the final sale muscle wasn't there. I we couldn't because, reach to lots is, of places. Is it not because you knew it was going to be a waste of time. We didn't have any support there anymore. No, the resources at our disposal I haven't had much was, was, I haven't was had really much, used to its fullest capacity. I haven't had much of APRC in the LRR, in the URR, in the CRR. <laughs> last four years whatever i can tell you up to date aprc is really alive and kicking in the urr lrr we have lost some support it's not about bragging we are very realistic in what we say and do we have lost some support in, in 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 lrr NDR. because of lack of mobility and finance and we are likewise like i'll give you i will give you certain examples we have our own people you know, who put up their own candidates and finance it under another party's ticket because they don't want to lose out to other political parties. But they told us we stood for this party, but we are still APRC. Not I was there directly. You know, I spent four days in the upper in the in the in Fast Chaho and about five other villages. We went around, we met the people, discussed with them. And I will give you a scenario. Okay. Uh, one of our candidates stood on a GDC ticket. So when the information reached them that GDC petitioned Pa Amadou Suso, who wanted to contest the chairmanship in URR, that very day they were supposed to organize a victory celebration and they boycotted it. That they cannot celebrate when GDC are trying to knock us down. So which shows that they are APRC under a GDC ticket. I was there, nobody told me what happened. And I could get you connected to people there and they will give you the full narration of it. I will not be here to making up stories. That's why I said anywhere we lose support, I agree that we've lost support. Even in CRR, at some areas, we've lost support. All we need is to reach out to people, talk to them, because what they tell us is we're not seeing APRC, we're not hearing APRC, but we are APRC. So when it comes to elections, we don't put up candidates. They have a choice to make. If they don't stand on the APRC ticket, they would rather swing to another party for their own interest. So, so you, you, that explains, according to you, how you were not visible nationally. Exactly. In those exactly. But because with our vehicles, we were able to mobile countrywide, and we had what, the finances in putting up candidates. What, what you are very much good at mm -hmm. is mobilizing people. Because we not have the experience. Wrong. We've not, been there for not, 22 not, years. Not from after the election, that is after the change. Mm -hmm. In the past, you can claim to have <laughs> you know, support from, from Kenya to every corner. Yes. But after the changes, what happened is you you, you really hone your skills and mobilize. You, you, you use your experience mm -hmm. in mobilizing over the last 22 years. Mm -hmm. You make sure that you mobilize the entire support base, no matter how concentrated mm -hmm. or confined that is. For example, I give an example. If it is San mm here, -hmm. yeah, if, if APRC is just 5,000, I mean, you make sure that all these 5,000 are mobilized. Yes, I can so tell I, you so how. So if somebody sees that, you say, oh, these are the all APRC. Well, actually, what you are good at is making so that everybody who supports you is out. You are very good at that. Yes, But we, it doesn't really reflect. Yes. I mean, the strength, or 
I mean, how wise that your support is in that particular area? Yes, we have, we have strategies. We have the experience. <laughs> like we said, the people at the executive, they have the experience. They've been there for a very long time. Like we said in the local dialect or the national dialect, we're not Tunis when it comes to politics. We're not new in the game. We've been there for a very long time. What we did is we started with one R that is retaining what we have, how to retain it. Then secondly, the other R is to recruit like all uh, um, those whom you know that they're sitting on the fence, we want to recruit them to make sure they join the party. Another one was uh, um, like reconciliation, another hour we use. Those who left the party or in some way there were problems, how do we reconcile them and bring them back to the party? You know, these are tactics that we applied and since 2017 up to date, it has worked for us. That's why whenever we're out there, people, the whole world will know that APRC has once again spread its feathers and they will see the numbers that we can put together. You said you are the kingmaker, sir. You think it's the only king you want to make, is President Trump, because, sir. <laughs> you are not talking to. I mean, you are not talking with seriously with others. So. Of course, of course, we are. We're talking with other political parties. Besides NPP, there are four other political parties that have engaged the APRC, but still. Nothing concrete, you, you nothing know, has been you against. You just emphasize the importance of incumbents. Ye don't yes, don't no. don't that don't is general, don't not don't only for APRC. Don't stay or for parties have not in the offer. As far as your rating of incumbents is concerned, they have not in the offer. Of so course. naturally, most realistically, the person you are talking to, with all seriousness, is, is President Trump and NDP. No. Be frank with it. No, it's four parties. Two of them they have been in the offer. As far as your rating of incumbents no. is concerned, I, I it's only <laughs> No. I don't, I said based on the Congress resolutions, it's only borrow we can engage. Okay. But when it comes to how do we come together and uh, to contest the elections, they have a lot to offer. There is no political party that will say, okay, it's new or they don't have the numbers. Those numbers could make a difference. Okay. Politics is about numbers, so you don't undermine them. Two of them are new parties, the other two have been in the game for a long time. It's four. I don't want to mention their names for now. But whenever but we reach an agreement with them, we will, we will make but, it known. But definitely you are never to say they don't include you. That's no, no, yes. Include. I can vividly say APRC and UDP, we've never engaged in any this discussion. We've never approached them. They, they, they have never approached us. That is yet to happen. Okay, you, you, finally, mm. you, 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 you did not address the allegation from this hour. Uh, Sinan and you know, yes, Sinan I, and I wanted to talk about yeah, it, okay. but you brought up another follow up okay. question okay. that really deviated from that. Sir, you are claiming four million dollars uh, from President Barrow, you said that, uh, or, or NPP, you said that as a condition, and that you are mortgaging the party to him. You no longer, uh, you know, you no longer following the advice of uh, the person you call a supreme leader. Uh, I mean. I said in this context that I, I said people said you wasted a lot of time misleading the grassroots that Gambia is coming. Now that election is near and you know you always know that he couldn't come, even though you still believe that he <laughs> come, it's not too late. Now people they are beginning to ask questions now. Um, why are you uh, I mean, you know, warming up to President Barrow when he didn't give you anything that you really want to achieve in terms of Jamie's plight, for example, because on top of all this, it's about Jammed that you really put focus on his possible return, etc. Okay, it's a very crucial question and allow me to elaborate. Okay. First and foremost, okay. I want to make it clear. Mm -hmm. There was a day we had an executive meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, some issues we discussed at executive level was leaked to other people. Okay. It means it, it was a secret, but others came to know about it. Okay. So from that point on, mm -hmm. all the executive members, mm -hmm. we brought the Quran or the Bible based on your faith, your belief that mm -hmm. we all swore mm -hmm to show our loyalty to the party and to keep the secret. That's, what, typ that's typical Jammer style. Whatever so is not to meant make for... Sure that you, yes, your, your, yes. Your loyalty is totally... This is not, this is not about Jammer. This is about protecting the that's interest of the party. APRC style, then. Yes, APRC style. Okay. This is about protecting the party's interest. So you have interest. to bring the Bible and the Quran. Yes, what, whatever what is, is meant for in mobile, house. I, mean, I guess mobile is <laughs> all example from the... Sometimes key <laughs> issues when we discuss at executive level, every mobile is mobile. Out. You cannot trust people 100%. We I tell know. them, let mobile phones stay outside because they're the experience. You don't know who's recording and these are gadgets. They are very cunning sometimes when what people want to do. Not everybody is 100% committed. And we brought that, that whoever is not willing to swore, then definitely we cannot trust you. So we all did. 
it's not everything that is discussed in house must be public consumption. So people must understand that. But there are people here in the Gambia and even in the diaspora who feel being members of the party, maybe they have contributed a dollar CO2, they have the right to know everything the executive is doing. So if they keep pushing, asking questions, they don't get answers. They want to go public and allege and do everything so that the executive will come out and tell them, no, they, they don't give us four million or we did not kill them this now they will get the facts it's a game they are playing and this is not shaking us the list we swore to these holy books and we maintain that whatever is meant for everybody we're doing it why do we organize con congresses we give activity report what the party engage in we give financial statements we read our resolution and congress is like the delegates are representatives of the people even the diaspora we write to them for them to send delegates to come and attend so the doors are open for everybody to know during congress how the party has been functioning but every time a b and c we discuss issues no party comes to the social media and disclose their financial status or the issues that they do. This is why Congress is not every member's business, but delegates, people selected and chosen. So they could do Facebook Live, they could take out audios, allege and insult. We're not going down to their level. Okay, they've said it, we have to come and clarify. No, we don't operate like that as a national executive. People entrusted us this leadership, they have hope and confidence that we will deliver. We will not disappoint the people and we will never fail them. What we are saying, there's nothing concrete as far as our negotiations in, in, with, with Barrow. And it's not illegal. For instance, this four million they are talking about, if they have, it happens to be given to APRC, is it Duruja's money? No. But Does it belong to Tombo or Amul or Mayor? No. The, the, the question is, did you ask for it? Whether we ask for it? Yes. It's negotiations. Yes, we're negotiating. You, you did. You are, did. are you going to have that or less than that or more than that? It's negotiation. Nothing but concrete. You know, what most people want to know is whether the woman is right in her allegation that you are asking for four million from NPP and President Barr. No, we have a team that is negotiating with them. So the team is putting up figures, and these figures and are not that, exact. That Some. Some are claiming for less than that. Some are saying two million. Some are saying one million. Who should give you that? Barrow or NLP? The president is who we are engaging. So he should give you asking him to give you. These claims is our account. They have frozen our account. We're claiming this money that is in our account. Okay. Not like for them to give it to I us see, to discuss at party level. This is why I said if they get to us, they will get the right information. We are claiming people. Yes, we are claiming our people that they took from us. And we have every right to do that. That money belongs to the party. That's why I said not do the not tombom. If they give it to the party, we will announce it and it will go to the party's but account. Listen, listen, if yes. you're looking for that kind, that your money, you should, you should look for it through legal means, not to go to the president and say if you want it. No, no. The, the means that they themselves used was not legal. They used force and they took it from us. The Janet Commission report came, no mention of our vehicles and our account, which means it was not a legal procedure. So if you go through a legal procedure, in the report it's not mentioned, what other steps are you going to take? We, we engage lawyers and legal experts. They are giving us advice. So based on their advices, we're following those channels. This so is the this so is the so you negotiate? The, yes, it's a negotiation, and again, it's not a matter of must or force. We're using diplomatic means, peaceful means to negotiate. If they refuse, we have no option. We cannot force it our way. People must understand that. So when people go to Facebook Live and say whatever they want, they are entitled to it. But is it the reality? No. If they had engaged me or somebody else, they would tell them what we're doing. But like I said, they want to know. They're not getting information. They think going public will reduce us to their levels. We'll come out and talk. Fine, we don't function that way. And fine. we will never function that Finally, way. This, yes. this doesn't only suggest that uh, in your approach with Barrow, uh, may not be popular among some of your members. And if you insist on uh, reaching any deal with Barrow, you may risk losing some of your members who doesn't want you to have anything to do with Barrow until, unless he, he actually uh, I mean, provide them something that they are impressed with. Like, again, before I respond to that, like people are saying we are more engaging the party, we are selling the party. Nobody can sell a political party. Let me make that clear. Anybody who knows politics will never mention such. How can we sell a party? Do we own the people? No. Are we giving them monthly wages or weekly? No. And it's happened? No. If I made a choice to leave APRC and go to another party, who, who can I take with me? 
Nobody. I don't own anybody. If I leave my position, somebody else is taking over. If this executive have to resign or in one way or the other, they say they cannot no longer stay at the affairs of the party. Other people are coming to take over from them. So how do you sell a political party? That is definitely baseless. I have never seen that happen nowhere in the world. You can say a party has ceased to exist and members will find their way and look for what to do. An example today, for instance, PPP, they are working with the incumbent. They're supporting an alliance sort of. In case they happen to have a fracas or their part ways, are they leaving their party with him? No, they're going with their party. So nobody sells a political party. And the people being the executive, they don't own the party. People entrust them to position and they're working to serve the people. So I want to clarify this. Alleging that we are going to sell the party, that is definitely baseless. And it shows the lack of maturity in politics. Nobody can sell any political party. Seeing I left, I came in. So others, they left their position, others occupy it. So if I go today, somebody is taking my place. Am I selling APRC? I don't have the power, we don't have the authority to sell this party. So those are just allegations out of anger. And all that they're saying, they cannot prove it. Definitely, I challenge any one of them to, to, to prove this allegation. We're not selling the party, we're not asking Baro to give us money. Is the money in our accounts we're claiming. We have every right to do that. So that's four million. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Yuska, mm. Deputy Spokesman of the APRC, thank you very much for sharing your views with us on the brunch. We will be back with uh, a look at the first day of the activities of the Electoral Commission as we prepare for the election cycle, that is the voter registration. Plus, we will wrap up in our own way 871 days of hearings of the truth and the colleagues, the reconciliation, preparation and reconciliation commission. There are too many hours there <laughs> when we come back after this break.